Greetings, Bat Prince here, and today we are playing Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts Part 2. Is that right? I've not played Part 1, I've not played any of the uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior games before, ever. So, um, I'm going to start off with the most recent one and, and uh, I don't know, ruin the story. Greetings, Raven. Raven? Thank you for accepting this commission. And My name is Raven, that's cool. For the past 20 years, it has been controlled by two people. President Omar al Bakr and his wife, Bibi Rashida. Okay. The regime is both cruel and brutal, but we saw no reason to interfere. Till now. Until we now. Intel Kumar is planning an offensive against a neighboring state. Kumar? Here is unacceptable. Akutramar? It will disrupt the whole region, inflating global oil prices. The conflict was triggered by the assassination of President al Bakr. He was killed. His wife has taken power, but her grip is weak. Some within her government resent both her gender and Western education. However, she's supported by a close network of warlords. They provide troops and weaponry to Rashida, reinforcing her control and preventing open revolt. Okay. The regime is financed by the hacker and crypto anarchist Lars Hellstrom. Wanted by multiple agencies, he threatens governments, rigs elections, and holds corporations to ransom. Together, they are the masterminds behind this offensive. Mm -hmm. We need you to shut them all down. I'll shut all of them down. Have a friendly in country, Taj Tahir, a journalist and the son of one of Russia. Okay, don't shoot Taj. Got it. Appeared after being arrested on espionage charges. Find him. Kumar's terrain is both arid and mountainous, so getting close to a target may not be possible. We know you're a long shot specialist, so this shouldn't be a problem. Your new gear should help, especially the prototype visor. It has an enhanced battlefield display. Ooh, pretty. Rashida and her allies cannot be allowed to ignite the region. Her war must be stopped. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Do I get a tutorial or am I just thrown straight into it? Was challenges as well? Yeah, how about none of that? Let's just uh, start this. Or should I read it first? I don't know. Like, oh, this is a tutorial. Cool. Uh, it's time to get familiar with your weapons. Tactical visor we supplied. Live feed from your scope. It is equipped with an advanced combat display. You'll be able to scan terrain. Okay. So, um. Marksman. Play without punishment. Fun and engaging. Thank you. How's the heat there, Raven? I want the fun, thank it's you. Time to get familiar with your weapons and gear. I'll give it a go. The tactical visor we supplied provides a live feed from your scope. I just with read that. Advanced combat display. You'll be able to scan terrain as well as tag and track hostiles. We've also given you some extra tools. We prefer it if you didn't break them. I'll break them all I like. Oh, cool. Once you're happy, we can move on to the mission itself. All right. Give it a quick shot. Hey, hey! Stop sending my keyboard nuts, game. I kind of like it though. Alright, bye. Quick, shoot down the helicopter. You need to calibrate the mask's display to your biometrics. There's a training rifle ahead by the OP. Pick it okay. up and let's begin. Roger Will do. things right approach sniping Take a prone spot. position to stabilize your base we Where? need consistent readings how do i uh hold c to go prone switch on your binocular display to enable hostile tags yeah i gotta remember all these keys i mean you've you've made it so that my keyboard is being taken over by you put these colors on these particular things i have to press please Tag the target straight ahead. You're 12 o'clock. And... Oh, the red dot means it's gonna fall or whatever. Some of that. Some of that. What's this about? Didn't 
get that then this time. I don't know what this blue box is about. Whoops, missed that one. Let's get him dead. Tagging hostiles will give you oh. that range and keep track of their movements. Okay, I see. Your scope also allows you to measure range to targets. Go to glass and see for yourself. Press T. The upper left quadrant in your scope is a rangefinder. The target's height on that scale indicates their distance from you. It'll change according to your zoom ratio. Focus on your breathing. Check the distance the to the Aim for the head. comparing the height, the DR full display. I have no idea. What I mean. Hold my breath and bam! Got him right in the red spot. The next one. Okay, zoom out. And there should be another guy. Oh. Next target, you're 12, 300 meters. I know you're used to doing the maths for range, wind speed, and direction in your head, but we saved you some time. Adjust for range and use the bullet drop curve to line the shot up. Um. Check the distance and wind direction. Go for a headshot. Really? That's nuts. Alright. Good. Raven, find your next target. Adjusting your scope to target's range will improve accuracy. I've marked the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 400. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to what? manually adjust your aim up or this down is to compensate too complicated for the distance for me. drop. Scope elevation. 400? Oh, so if I see the number on their head, I can change it and then it'll be fine. So if I... Ooh. Whoops. Good. Splash four more now. There's plenty of ammo. Restock or reload when you need it. I know you're a marksman, but use your binoculars to tag hostiles before taking the shot. It'll give you distance to target to zero your scope. Okay. Alrighty. Ooh, there's still more. Let's get the furthest ones just for the fun of it, huh? And then you use this button to change it to something like 500, 600 ish, I think. Excellent. First target down. This is still around 600, right? Or should I change it to 5? Two more to go. That's alright. Uh, who should I go for next? This guy, I think. Moving targets is hard. Not bad. One more to go. Okay. Just working out moving. Okay, we're going for this guy. 700, huh? Okay. Where's that red dot at? It's gone. Oh, there it is. Alright. Your scope is zero now. We can move on to the next stage of familiarization. Head to the door behind you. No. Move through the door to the next area. No. We have some additional kit to familiarize yourself with. I'm gonna kill a lot of them. Sorry. There's one more. 
I will not let any of these targets get away alive. Oh dear. Alright, get up from prone with the C. I would like it if the, the, the razor color thing would have all these particular things lit up as keys that I needed to remember. But that's fine. Come on, open it. Okay, I'm looking for that droney drone. But... First up, Falcon drone. Pick it up. All right. Select it from your inventory. Got a scroll. Now launching. Pressing F to launch the drone. Go on, little dude. The Falcon can see when you can't. There are two enemies behind that metal wall ahead. Locate and tag them with the drone. Okay. Whoop. How do I fly upwards? Oh, increase elevation. Oh, there we go. It has a limited battery life, but will recharge when holstered. Call it back. How do you call it back? F? The drone can hack CCTV boxes. We're looking into possible upgrades later. There's a CCTV access point in the building below. Send the drone in and hack it. Okay. Oop, bouncy, bouncy. That interference is caused by a jamming tower. You're likely to encounter more of them during your missions. They're heavily armored, so don't try to destroy them. Just keep the drone out of their jamming range. Your mask's hood will indicate when you're close to one. Oops. Thankfully, their heavy armor does limit signal range. Use the drone to find an alternate route to the CCTV box. Okay. I'm not very good at flying these things. Like, it looks to be higher than what I can see or whatever. Try to get through this. Door. No, come on, settle. Window, not door. Doink. Careful. Yeah. Alright. Move up a little bit. Hacking one access point gives you control of all the cameras connected to it. It also prevents them detecting your presence afterwards. Try switching between different cameras. That's me. Any hostiles you spot on camera will be tagged in your hood too. That's handy. That's handy. Alright. You're up to speed on the drone now. There's another piece of kit on the table. Have a look. Ooh. Remote sniping, huh? These auto turrets sync with your hood. You still need to mark hostiles for the turret manually, but it can then fire at your command. Once placed, you set it up via your mask's binocular mode. Activate focus on the hostiles you tag with the drone. Then you need to mark them for your turret. Remember, turret marking is separate from your binocular tagging. H to mark up turrets. Exit binocular mode and command the turret to fire. Once marked, you can execute the fire command any time. Okay. You're done with gear familiarization. One thing I should mention, you can use a turret's inbuilt camera for overwatch, or use it to execute simultaneous shots if needs be. Also, the turrets are under constant development. We may be able to upgrade them later. That's all oh. the new gear covered. We have a spot set up to test special ammo too. Or you can head straight out. There's a truck waiting in the back. 
Um, I just want to do the first level and blow someone's brains out real quick. I'm sure there's a lot of really cool features and stuff, but that's what I want to do. I'm getting a little, uh, my brain's getting a little overcomplicated right now. It's like too much to remember. I need to practice in real life situations first. When I say real life, I mean in game. And then go on to learn special abilities and stuff. How do I get to the exit? Eh. Out there somewhere. So I still have to go through the door. Exit is over this way. Alright, we're leaving. We'll come back to the tutorial, do the other thing later. Loadout tab, huh? We can change our stuff. Heavy sniper rifles are loud. Customization on the X. Customization tab. We can change its optics. It's magazine. Close the development. Mask and recon. We can purchase a thing to get hot stuff. Regions. Grey desert. Right, I'm gonna go back to my loadout because I wanna see. That's fine. Change its barrel. Give it a special thing. Some camo skins. <gasps> I'll give it some warning stripes. Nice. Different ammo. Oh, we can we can go explosive bullet. Now I'm cool. I like it. Keep that on. Skin. Secondary weapon. Thirdly weapon. Can we can we put a camo on that? Put a blue camo. That's cool. We have six thousand dollars though. But that's fine. Let's give everything a camo. It's all sorts of different skins we could give it. Oh. Doesn't matter. All good. Let's go uh, do the first thing. We did that bit. Oh, now we have to go here. We have to eliminate a bunch of people. Cool. Raven, I'm sure you know the record for. The I'm not gonna win this level. I just want to shoot someone to see. Operator. During the Iraq War, he hit a target over two miles away. Today's mission won't need you to hit anything that far, but it's still going to be a challenge. Is it? But it's the first thing. This operation is designated Cold Bore Zero. We're dropping you onto a plateau located within range of all three targets. Oh, cool! So I can just shoot them from here. Is small, so hit and move. The first target here is Antoine Zaza, Rashta's favorite warlord and quartermaster. Okay. The Zaza clan are arms dealers, alongside other criminal enterprises. Eliminate him and the Kuamari government will struggle to equip their militias. Your second target is a disgraced SAS officer, Captain Ronald Payne. He's in charge of the Army's tactical training and currently stationed at one of their boot camps. Your third target is Colonel Fyodor Novikov, a Russian GRU agent no, to control logistics and supply. Removing these actors from the board will seriously hamper Rashida's plans. Okay. I'll be in contact when you arrive on site. Okay. Just let me shoot them. I want to shoot them. I want to shoot the guys in, in the brains. Or something. Control I want a simple one. Where I just tag them and shoot them. Like the tutorial was. Roger Raven. What's your status? I've exited the helo. And I'm commencing recon of the plateau. Intel indicates light foot patrols and some forward observation posts only. Proceed with caution and you should reach the sniper hides with little opposition. Understood. The plateau will provide you with three OPs which overlook each target location. They should give you a good line of sight on any hostiles. Sounds like a piece of cake. 
Yeah, I like range. piece of cake. And with no spotter. I'm confident you won't miss. It's one of the reasons we picked you. No pressure then. Let me know when you've reached the first OP. Roger that. Raven out. Can't see anybody. Is that a good thing? people. Initiating code red. Recall for location. Out. I mean, this isn't what, how it was meant to go. I meant to come in quietly, but there were two people and they moved. Is there anybody else around here? Okay. Where are they? Get out of my way, plant. Where'd he go? Oh, there. He's moved up. Here we go. Ooh. See anything cool? <laughs> All right. On crying. the first place I need Jones to do stuff. Raven with a sit rep. Roger Raven, go ahead. I'm heading for the OP overlooking the port. Good. We just received some fresh intel on Zaza. He may be conducting a deal today. Our sources tracked a known weapons supplier crossing the border earlier and heading on the main road to that location. If we're lucky, you'll catch them both. Do you have anything on the supplier's ETA? Negative. But one of the locals may have more info. Look for a hostile stationed near one of the comms relays. I'm sure they've heard the chatter. I probably won't be asking him nicely. How you do it is up to you. Can I shoot that bird? I don't see anybody yet. What about over here? Gonna be a lot of waiting and stuff. Tag this guy and tag him. Fine, don't tag him. Blow his head off. Base, this is Foxtrot 3-1. Tango's location acquired. Over. Oh, God. 
Somebody can see me? Where's that red thing coming from? I did badly. I hear people. Was this shot? You see? Oh, it blew his head right off. Um, there's another enemy over this way somewhere. I can't see them. Coming around or something. see anybody else it's okay he was a lot closer than I thought so should I be heading for these uh the next red square or something I don't really feel like waiting around I know that's what you meant to do in sniper games you meant to wait around is there a, a med kit somewhere that I can use I think my health is gone Need to reload as well. Let's just go through this temple, huh? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not exactly a warry tactical. Oh gosh. Fire, fire, fire. Oh god. going straight in here because I want to because I want to I want to shoot oops one more person before I decide to just say I'm not a great sniper you what is that I want it yuck dead thing cool I can run and jump. Oh. Did I not make it? How do we climb? No idea. It said jump and climb on. Oh. Maybe I've got to press E. No, nope. I'm confused, but that's okay. I've had enough sniping for today. Uh, I'll see you, kitty, sometime later. Nighty night.